Hello, this is Lance Squire, and I'm going to show you how to apply a sheet, of a Kapton sheet, onto a mirror tile or aluminum bed. Um, first thing you have to do is make sure that your bed or mirror tile is completely grease free and dry and up to your working temperature, so about 110 degrees if you're normally doing uh, ABS work. Next thing you need to do is to take your sheet of Kapton and separate the uh, backing plastic from it. Usually I have to pick it apart at a corner and it separates into two pieces. Oop. You throw away the clear piece because that's just the uh, cover for the sticky stuff and make sure you put it sticky side down here. <clears throat> now first you want to start at the edge of your glass Try and get it as straight as possible. Oops, don't move. There we go. And just tack it down at the edge. And then you can use, because the glass is hot, you can use a piece of Kleenex to help iron out all the bubbles. If you get a bubble, you can just back it up a bit. Smoothing it out left to right, going slowly and keeping the top edge up so that you don't get any bubbles underneath. And you move it along like this until you reach your clips. Of course, you need the clips there so that the sheet doesn't move off the heat bed, sheet the glass, or in the other case, the aluminum. And you reposition your clips. They have to now go around the extra captain. That's okay. And you continue working your way basically from the middle towards the edges, back and forth, to get a nice, clean, bubble free placement of the captain sheet. Now the captain sheet is much thicker than your standard captain tape, as you can see if you've ever worked with captain tape. And that makes it a lot more durable. Okay, there we go. Now because I've got these uh, posts sticking up here, I'm actually going to have to remove the glass to finish it to get it down. at the corners or just cut the captain off but that's uh, that's the first step now we let it cool down um, so I'm going to remove this from here with uh, <laughs> some uh, heat gloves finish the corners so that they're flat and then I let it cool down and then we trim it so I'll come back for trimming it in a bit 